You can see here he has several things going for him. One, his extension into the range is greater than his opponent. Mentally, this helps set up a factor of intimidation, which is clearly seen by how infrequently his opponent is ready to engage and attack, especially during attacks. Two, Connor rarely extends his head past his base, rarely overcommits his strikes. Keeping his support structure under his head keeps him from off-balancing and fading with his shots, which throws off follow-up attacks and defense because you're too busy trying to play catch-up with your upper body. This makes any follow-up attack weak, as it doesn't have a solid foundation from which to fire attacks. 3. His long extension with his rear foot counterbalances his long extension punch. This is simple physics. When necessary, he counterbalances with his opposite hand as well. Though this is great for balancing and maintaining a base, it does open him up for counterattacks on that line. The extended base also allows for attacks to the lead leg that can compromise the entire structure if you're not fast enough to recover from its removal, as he is. 4. He rarely stays on his heels. Think of planting your heels on the ground as being Rocky Balboa. Great for when you're only having to deal with one opponent in a boxing match, but quite different when you need a dynamic base for fighting in the UFC, or versus multiple opponent threats, or against an opponent with a weapon.